Colombian airline just interrupt this morning from Colombia to calculate it out drawing in numbers by train or cable car oh it's written Thank you very much. Thank you. Well done. Here I am in Guatemala Airport, heading out to El Salvador, just for three hours. I'm not sure if I'll get out of the airport or not. And then I'm off to Colombia. And this airport is super yeshivish. You give in the cases, it doesn't go in a conveyor belt. It actually fetches it manually and takes it to the plane. I've been in Guatemala for two days, but I haven't managed to get a snow globe for my father. Hope they have it in the airport. Thank you. We found a snow globe. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. What's your name? Eh, Jose. Jose gave me a very good price, it was supposed to be $12, gave me for 10 so all I had left. What a tzaddik. I've never seen an airport with five, six even, tourist shops right next to each other. Tell me one other international airport in the world which has a vape shop. I think they need to uh, get a new PA system. Which American airport has a playground for the children? We're in some tiny little airport in Guatemala, so they have a playground. America, learn, learn from third world countries. Okay. First time flying in Yanka, it's a Colombian airline and it's past Star Alliance, so it might even be good. It's budget though, it's quite cheap. You can find the menu in the fish market. For a pretty cheap airline, it's Yanka. I rate it. Brand new service, brand new clean, clean paints, it's even got a power outlet. So yeah, very happy. We're in El Salvador, we have a three hour stopover, so we're going out there for a few minutes. But if we take the water out, we can't bring it back in. So we're going to hide it somewhere. Let's this see much of water. Let's see if it's still going to be here when we arrive back. Even when I have a short stopover, I like to go out the airport, leave immigration so I could tick that country off my list. But they don't let me because it's a connecting flight. So I'm going to see if I could pay the tax to get in and we can um, go out as well. So we couldn't leave the airport, but we're here in the lounge celebrating surely my cousin's birthday. We've got gin and ginger ale, he's got vodka orange, we have some beers. Although we didn't leave the airport, we still have the bottle of water here, and of course it's still there. So, if you go in and out of an airport, hide it somewhere, do don't know, maybe drink it. Next flight, we're heading to Bogota, which is the capital of Colombia. Let's go. Three hour flight. Just arrived in the capital of Colombia, Bogota. It's a major city, I think it's the fifth biggest city in the world. 11 million people live here. Let's see, let's see what this is all about. A lot of people told me it's quite dangerous, but um, you know, we take precautions. Let's go for it. I'm in another third world country, and guess what? The airport is a lot nicer than most American airports. Yeah, yeah, it's one of these countries. You can barely get out of the airport because so many people stop you for taxis. And there's actually a sign there saying, don't take a taxi unless it's an official one. That's the first I arrived to the hotel. Apparently, I've got the wrong hotel. So there's two hotels called GHL, and I put an Uber. They've taken me to this one. Now I need to go to the other one. I feel like guys make that mistake every day. They have that like, oh, sorry, wrong hotel. And we found the right hotel finally. I'm staying in a really, really nice five-star hotel here in Bogota. I'm only paying 40 pounds a night, not $50. Ah, this one. Keep it. Surely, thank you for joining me in Guatemala and half of Colombia. Going back to London now, it's been awesome. It's been sick over me. See you back in the UK. Yeah. Been lovely. I'm tired. I need to go to bed. <laughs> Good morning from Colombia, Bogota. What a view to wake up to. 12 floors up. You see the mountains, you see the city, you see the old city. Wow. I'm just going to have in chakras in my hotel. I'm going to have extra Kavana because Bogota is not the safest place. Um, so, yeah. Something which I don't often talk about is how little food sometimes I have on trips. I had lunch yesterday in Chabad. I'm going to go to a coach restaurant tonight. Until then, I'm going to have some busy leaf breakfast. A bit of chocolate for lunch. This is the perfect view to do a time lapse. I'm gonna set my camera here and let's see how it comes out. I'm not sure if Colombia is a superstitious country, but in the lift they do not have number 13. I'm guessing it's bad luck. Just checking out what this five star hotel has. It has a nice size gym. A bit like a museum down here, you've got all these old fashioned typewriters and stuff. And it also has a swimming pool with a spa, sauna. Let's go get a quick morning swim. Pretty much got the entire swimming pool for myself. My muscles are so stiff from the volcano climb yesterday. The swim was the perfect, perfect thing. My cousin has taken my suitcase back to England, so I don't need to schlep it around. So now I need to fit all the stuff into that rucksack.
Well, you can fit a lot more than you think into a 40 litre rucksack. I've literally got showers, clothes, I've got five days of underwear, I've got around three t-shirts, jumpers, um, shower shoes, yeah, so wow. If you need a plastic bag when you're packing up your case, normally in the cupboard they'll have like a laundry bag, plastic one like this, so I'm gonna use it to put my wet swimming trunks inside. Another advantage of hotels in South America, a checkout is at one o'clock, whereas in Europe it's normally like 11 o'clock. Okay, we have one day in Bogota, let's start exploring. Colombia is the world's third largest coffee exporter. Um, only ahead of them is Vietnam and Brazil. You would think that a country like Colombia, which is Central America, very, very close to the equator, will be boiling hot. But since we are over two and a half thousand meters up, yes, Bogota is two and a half thousand meters up. That's why it's pretty cool. What's your name? Yeah. What? You know you're in a rather dangerous place when on every street corner there's armed police with bulletproof vests and huge guns. I love bargaining when you can't speak the language. You like have two calculators out, drawing in numbers, start at 15,000. I tried to get it for five, but we're met at eight, so 8,000 per keyring for Yossi Leitner. It's probably still for them, crazy amount of money. It's around £1.50, but listen, you know, I'm more than happy to give them a bit of panasa. Thank you, bye, have a good day. Bye. Behind me there's a mountain which I'm going to go up, which you can see the view of the whole Bogota. Now I've got my train or cable car, I'm going to see what I'm going to do. I'm taking the cable car, the train's not working today. I think I prefer the cable car anyway, because you get a better view. And it costs 27,000 for this ticket, which is equivalent to five pounds. Pretty cheap. Over here they use Colombian pesos, which is one pound equals 5,000. It's 1.30, I've already been in this queue for almost an hour to get up the mountain. Uh, they better hurry up because I need to get to the coast restaurant before 4.30, which is on the other side of town. It's been sunny all morning, but the heavens have opened up and it's blocking. It's going to be a bit of a squeeze in here. Or am I going into the next one? Wow, this is the last guy to get in here. <laughs> oh, it's raining. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, and that's the view which you can't see. Oh run to get some shelter and I'm completely out of breath. I'm thinking I'm very unfit but we're over 3,000 meters so yeah it's a lot thinner the air up here much easier to get out of breath. From this side it looks like it's clearing up so I'm gonna wait a few minutes. Clouds are slowly slowly shifting and we're starting to see bogus out from here. When in Colombia it's only appropriate to get some Colombian coffee. Most people here don't speak English, they speak Spanish so Google Translate is being used a lot trying to work out if they had soy milk or not, but they didn't, unfortunately. You know the saying, smell the coffee. Ah, oh, wow, 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 it smells good. It's so, so strong, it's not your typical um, Nescaf gold or something. So if you come to Bogota, you wanna come up here, it's called Mossorati, and you'll be at 10,000 feet here. And yeah, maybe plan when the weather's a bit better, so you can see clearly. Where are you from? El Salvador, El Salvador. El Salvador, nice, I was there yesterday. <laughs> kind of getting a view now of Bogota, but I'm not staying up here long because I need to get down and get some food. So there's a monastery up here, but obviously for religious reasons, I will not be able to visit, but I can uh, see everything else. So I literally never travel solo, but my cousin had to go back to London. So it's Wednesday today, so until Friday for two days, here in Colombia and tomorrow in Ecuador, I'm going to be alone. It's not the same, you know, it's always nice to have company. Another long queue to get down. I want to get down ASAP before it rains again and stop using the cable car. Besides for Tokyo, I've never seen such a big city. 11 million people live down there. You can't go more than one minute without people stopping you trying to sell you something. But you know, politely just shrug them off and you should be fine. Taking a taxi now to the other side of town to a restaurant called Manhattan Delicatessen, which is a good heksha and it's open till 5 30. So we're gonna get some uh, lunch supper. It's a 30 minute ride and it only costs 15,000, which is three pounds, four dollars. Uber in America will be charging like a hundred bucks for that. Okay. What's your name? Oh, no English. Your name is Avrumi? Carlos. Carlos, okay. nice, nice. <laughs> Just a 
arrived, a Manhattan delicatessen. Uh, yeah, sounds good. I am starving, haven't eaten for one day, so let's go eat something. Okay, how crazy is this? I just ordered a ribeye steak sandwich, fries, and pastrami on the side, a Coke Zero, and then a beef sandwich to take for my journey later tonight. How much should I pay for everything? New York will be around 60 bucks. Over here, 15 pounds. Crazy. Wow, wow, wow. This stuff doesn't just look good, it smells good, and I'm sure it tastes delicious. This food is absolutely insane. The delicious steak sandwich here. Wow, yum. On my travels, I don't remember having such good food out of like Israel, England, and America, other countries. I've never had such delicious food, and it's the cheapest. Wow, wow. It's worth coming just for this meal. Up until this point in my life, I've never really experienced a Latina atmosphere besides um, in Spain, maybe. That's not real, the authentic place. I know you're going to laugh at me, but I've deliberately decided to wear a bit more low key clothes today, just a grey t shirt with um, navy trousers just you know to blend in one percent more well don't think it really worked but we tried i went out last night as soon as i arrived at 4 30 in the morning i did not feel safe one bit if not for a six foot swiss guy who was with me a strong guy but today during daylight in the tourist areas feels very very safe not as bad as india but yeah some work going on over here almost got hit by a tractor I don't smoke, but the only thing I do do is shisha occasionally. So I've just come to the shisha bar here. Thank you. Here we go. Tell them to subscribe. What, what team do you support? Manchester City? Manchester City. Ah, uh, we're not friends, we're not friends. I wouldn't rate this the best shisha of my life, but it's nice to relax a bit. I think this is the fanciest area here in Bogota. They have all the brand name shops here. Ferragamo, we've got Psycho Bunny down there. I have three and a half hours my flight, but not realizing how crazy the rush hour traffic gets. Um, I've canceled my plans to go to the Plaza de Bolivia. I'm going straight to my hotel, quickly getting my case, and heading to the airport. And according to my taxi driver, I'll be lucky to make my flight. It's all in Hashem's hands. I'm staying chilled. There's nothing I can do about it. I can dab them, but it is what it is. It's a shame it will be good. He's saying that the traffic is not as bad usually, just because of the bad rain. No one's walking, everyone's taking cabs and stuff. Uh, he says to me, there's a very slim chance of making my flight, but I stay cool. I mean, for the obvious reasons, I, I can't control it. There's nothing I can do about it. So, all I can control is the way I feel now. If I want to be anxious and I want to get worried about it, I can, but I don't gain anything. So, I'm chilling, I'm going to dab with Hashem, same as Mala Soda, and everything's going to be okay. Just pulled up on my phone on the Ask app. Miss my. Say it a few times and I'm sure Hashem's gonna sort me out. I kid you not, the minute I started saying Mizmuna Soda, I've said it around five times already. Traffic just cleared out, we've been zooming. Now I'm more scared of having a crash than making my flight. Just made it to the hotel, I'm gonna quickly get my case. Picking up my case from here, I'm running straight back to my taxi. The taxi driver has been amazing. He's worked on everything to make sure things go well. I told him he's gonna get a big tip. Now we're headed to the airport. Traffic here is not as bad. We're not in the city centre, gone out of it. So, let's show if everything goes smoothly, we might make this flight. Of course, the thank you has to go to the Rabboni Shalom. We're going to thank the Shliach as well. So, William, thank you very much. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. And Baruch Hashem, we're here by the airport. Ms. Marosoy, the work as always, it never fails. All you have to do is say it and believe in it. Baruch Hashem, it looks like it's going to end well. I've got an hour till boarding and I have more than enough time. But, at one point, we were not moving the traffic. It was chock-a-block. Uber gave me a notification if everything's okay because we hadn't moved for like 10 minutes. Even had enough time to come to the lounge. This has to be one of the coolest lounges I've ever seen. Like a rainforest playground. Pretty, pretty cool. And in this room, you have like a mini cinema. You can pick what you want to watch. You've got like a control on your chair. Over here, you have like little beds with a view to the runway. And that's pretty much it for Columbia. Do I advise to come here? Yeah, just be safe. Um, you know, don't go out late at night alone. Um, use Uber. You know, as long as you stick to the main tourist destinations and you know, you keep an eye on your pockets, you should be good. That's it, hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure, subscribe and like. Goodbye.